all right hello everyone and welcome back to vlogmas episode seven going over my nighttime skincare routine and morning skincare routine so it's currently this what the fuck i can't speak currently tuesday december 12th so i'm gonna do my nighttime skincare right now and then tomorrow morning i'm gonna film what i do in the morning just want to throw out there not a dermatologist dibbling and dabbling in some like new areas but these are just the products i've been using and what i really really like and i feel like works really well for my skin so thought i'd take you guys through the whole routine okay starting off gonna push my hair back with this little skincare headband i got a couple weeks ago i look ridiculous and then i put the skincare these little cuffs on to stop the water from dripping. And this is key. This is key to washing your face and not like having a mental breakdown while doing so. So I like to double cleanse before I get in the shower every night. And it's been working really, really well. I feel like my skin has gotten just like a lot more vibrant. Like I feel like it's not as dull anymore. So yeah, I raved about this product in my favorites video, but I really, really do like this. Anua Heart Leaf Pore Control Cleansing Oil. So I don't get my face wet at the beginning. I just keep it dry and I just do like two pumps. And then I'm just gonna rub it. And then rub it into my skin for like a minute or so. Really just breaking up like all the dirt, especially around like my nose and right on like along my cheeks. Whether I was wearing makeup or my sunscreen, all that stuff. So I'm gonna break this up and fast forward through this part. I'll try to get my neck, even though I'm in this sweatshirt, that's not the best for that, but we're gonna still try. Okay, you should look like a glazed donut and then you're gonna get your hands wet a little bit and I'm gonna work this in with some wet I'm gonna work this in with some water to make it a little bit more soapy. This is the typical cleanser I've been using. I've been using this for years and this really helps prevent any breakouts or helps deal with any breakouts I'm having. But I kind of want to try and use this since this is from the same skincare brand that the oil cleanser is from, but I've heard great things about this as well. And these Anua products are both, I got off Amazon, but I'm sure you can get them from different like online skincare stores. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm just gonna rub this into my dry skin and then I'm gonna work it in. And then after that, I will work it in with some water. the way their products smell. They're like very clean, fresh, and calming, so I love that. But wash that off, dabbed it off with the Clean Skin Club towel, and now I'm going to hop in the shower, wash my body really quick, and then after the shower, I will do the remaining steps in my skincare, but this, I think this camera literally has some blurring effect on it, but my skin feels so clean. My pores are definitely like improving 
on my nose area and right around here. We love, but I'm gonna head into the shower real quick. I'm with my body shower and now I'm just gonna finish up the last few steps of my skincare. But before we move any further, I know I mentioned in other videos, but your water intake, your diet, the supplements you're taking also play a huge, huge role in your skincare your skin health, your hair health. So always keep that in mind. Take myself serious with this fucking thing on my head. There's a funny ass TikTok of this girl putting like a bunch of different head headbands on. Every I'll insert it here if I can find it, but that's what I feel like right now. But I understand the appeal of these now and the, the little cuffs I was wearing earlier because when the water runs down my forearms, it does drive me insane, so it's valid. Okay, what am I doing? Okay, so it's is a retinol night, and I just, I just use the little row. I cannot fucking talk. John, I literally think I'm having a stroke. What? I can't talk. I just be tripping over my words like crazy. <sighs> okay, it's a retinol night, so I'm gonna be using this one. It's from La Roche-Posay. I've been using it for a few weeks now. I don't really know the differences between retinols, to be honest. I would love to be on tretinoin or whatever. I just haven't gone to a dermatologist. So yeah, this is what we do. So I will list here and I will also list down below what I do for skin cycling. This is basically a way to make sure you're not combining like active skin skincare ingredients together and just like Xing them out because then they're not doing their jobs. I'm pretty sure is what the purpose behind skin cycling is and protecting your skin barrier too. So tonight is my retinol night. So last night I did my exfoliating night, Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. So I did, I cleansed, showered, did this, put on my eye cream, and then I put my nighttime moisturizer on. Now is, it is the second night, so I'm gonna do my retinol night. And I'm just gonna do a few drops of this. So my skin is completely dry and clean because I already cleansed, obviously. So I just do a few drops of this on every region of my face. I'm gonna work it in. Just like avoiding my eyes. And of course, bring it down your neck always. Sit in my face. Sometimes I will do this to help it dry a little bit faster. I'll have a little fan that sometimes I will use to make it dry faster too. This is really helpful for my morning skincare because you guys will see. Done. And now I'm just gonna go in with this Coco Kind eye cream. I either use this eye cream or Rock Retinol eye cream. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna use this one tonight because I just used retinol anyways all over my face. But on like my exfoliating night, I'll do this eye cream with it. So it's not like I'm not combining the retinol and the BHA. I'm pretty sure that's like a, a skincare law. I don't know. This is what I do during cardio. I will just look up like skincare videos and try to educate myself. Sometimes I don't know if I'm actually educating myself properly or if I'm just like feeding into overconsumption. I don't know, it's a, it's a tricky balance. But I'm just gonna rub this in under my eyes really gently. You never ever like wanna tug at your under eyes cause it's so gentle, fragile. Okay, just tap that in. But I will say this, I've been using Grande Lash and I'm sure you guys have heard that it like somehow makes the fat under your eyes like go away. So I've been feeling like my eyes look more tired and irritated lately. So once I run out of this serum, I am gonna try a different one just cause you guys know like they're really expensive. So I'm not trying to just like waste it. So I'm like, mm, guess I'm just gonna lose some eye fat for now. <laughs> then I just literally go in with this CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion. This is for PM, nighttime. So once I feel like my skin is completely dry, I'm just gonna apply this. And yeah, so then after this retinol night, like tomorrow night and usually the night after that, it's like a four day cycle. Sometimes it's three to four. It kind of just depends on how my skin is looking. If I feel like I'm kind of breaking out more, then I will 
only do one recovery night so that way it can get to like the exfoliating step quicker and the retinal step quicker um but if my skin's doing fine i like to have two recovery nights so basically all that is is you you double cleanse i go in the shower and then i get out and then i apply my eye cream at night and then my facial moisturizer so i would say my morning skincare routine is a little bit lengthier <laughs> but this is just how I do my nighttime. Pretty simple. I try to like massage around my neck and my lymph nodes, just for like a little bit of a drainage. And sometimes I'll gua sha if I'm really feeling extra. At the night I just always apply like a lip balm, like Laneige, I love this one. It's the peppermint one, it's so, so good. And I will put my eyelash serum on. And then I put <laughs> and then I put rosemary mint water in my hair and just like rub that into my scalp. And that's been helping my hair grow quite a bit lately. So that is the nighttime skincare routine. And I will see you guys in the morning for the rest of the steps. skincare I've been doing lately so I washed my hands and got my face wet I'm trying to talk a little bit quiet because Sean's still asleep but I always get my face wet with some nice cold water and then I'm going to this is actually a new product I'm using today but I'm excited these are from the brand Metaheal that I got it off Amazon it's another Korean skincare brand but these are vitamide brightening pads and they have vitamin E in them, but basically it just says it's a daily treatment pad that offers optimized solution for those with various skin troubles due to external environment and stress. Solve your skin concerns quickly and easily with a pad during your busy daily life. So I'm going to open this up and the way I've seen people use it is they kind of let it sit on the areas that they have issues in. So for me, it's kind of like around my nose. I would say where I have the most discoloration and whatnot. So I'm gonna let the pads sit there for a minute or so and then I'm gonna rub them in all over my face. Okay, I'm gonna let these sit, but these already smell so good. And feel really really good on my skin just rub that all into my skin really really focused on like the areas I get like extra red in which is around my nose and my cheeks have like some texture to them right now so and then I'm gonna let it dry a little bit so to speed up that process I'm gonna use this fan a little bit Is this bioma balancing face mist i really like to use this first thing in the morning i just got it from target but yeah i don't know i'm just gonna spray it all over my face i've been using this for a couple months now but the pads are something new i wanted to try out and then i'm gonna let that dry into my face Next, I'm going to take this Road Glazing Milk. It's a toner, but a little bit thicker than like a normal toner you would see. But I absolutely love this stuff. It smells really good. It makes my skin like so plump and juicy. So I really recommend this product. Drops in my hand. And then I rub it together slightly. And then I'm just going to pat it into my face. stuff so much so I'm gonna let this set in like look at this now I'm gonna use my vitamin C serum I've been using this is my second bottle of it and I really like it I think it's a good affordable option it's from the brand Naturium 
they have it at Target, but I really, really like this and I've been using it for the past few months. I think it just does a great job at obviously brightening your complexion, which is the main reason we're using vitamin C. I would say the like products I think everybody should be using is a vitamin C, double cleansing, a good moisturizer, and an SPF. The rest of the stuff is kind of just fun things to like dibble and dabble with, so that's just kind of my two cents. I really didn't get into all this shit until like the past few months, and it's because, I don't know, I watch too many TikToks, but <laughs> I'm gonna put a few pumps of this, and then just work this into my face. Now I'm gonna use this Coco Kind eye cream. I think I mentioned this last night, but I don't really know much about eye creams and I can't really tell what's working and what isn't. So take that with a grain of salt, but this is a really affordable option from Target. Just gently rub this in. This is gonna be the last thing I go in with and this is actually a new product I'm testing out for the first time today. So this is the Color Science Flex Sunscreen. So when you apply this, it like adapts to your skin tone and creates like a skin tint for you, but it's also 50 SPF. So I've heard really good things about this. So I'm excited to try it on camera with you guys, but all my skincare is like nice and dry and I'm ready to put on my SPF. Like that was kind of hard to see on camera, but the the white sunscreen like did turn into like a medium skin tone, so that was cool. I'm gonna do a little bit on my neck as well. And I already like this because it doesn't feel really sticky or like that it's gonna peel off. And I feel like it gives the right amount of glow to my face. I don't use like an additional moisturizer in the morning because all those steps I did before were like so hydrating. So I don't want too much, but I really, really like this already. I just got it from the Derm store, but I'll find other links for it too. I'm just gonna put on some lip balm, curl my lashes, and I'm ready for the day. Do y'all see that difference? This eyelash curler, Shiseido, so good. And all you have to do is just, you know, clamp it 70 times and your lashes will stick up like that. And that is my current skincare routine right now. I know I tried out a few new products in this video, but I will definitely keep you guys updated on how I really like them. But overall, I'm really loving all the products I'm using right now. I feel like I have this glow to me, so we love that. I know I already stated this at the beginning, but you know, do your own research, do what works best for you and your skin type. I literally will watch so many YouTube videos from like dermatologists and whatnot to get better input about what I should be doing for my skin. So, you know, do your own research, find the products that work really best for you. And yeah, I think it can be really overwhelming, especially if you get something and you don't like it and then you have to waste it. But you know, most places you can return stuff to, like Ulta and Sephora, they're pretty good about that. So, you know, always keep that in mind, save your money. But I'm really, really passionate about like finishing products that I like, obviously, before I go and buy something new. So, yeah, that is the skincare, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick little episode for Vlogmas episode 7. Crazy, but I will see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.